Welcome to the NBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I'm your host, Mar Sanzo, and in today's episode review, we are going to do something different. Yes, as you might have guessed, that I'm going to fly solo this review. And the reason why is Tara is away on personal issues, so I decided to kind of handle this one alone and see how I would handle, you know, doing a Pony Life review. So let's not dilly dilly and let's hop right into it. In today's episode review, we are going to review uh, My Little Pony Friendship, no, uh, Pony Life, yes, Pony Life Season 1 Episode 12. In this episode, uh, I'm sorry, in Friendship Game and uh, Friendship Gems, uh, the main six teach Trixie the magic of friendship through the crafting of friendship bracelets. In Doll Finale, the main six reveal to Fluttershy the truth about their trail trotter troop, with while introducing her to her celebrity hero, Fantastic. So, first impressions are in order, and well, um, how do I put this? In Friendship Gems, I find it really interesting that we get to see Trixie, and I was expecting Trixie to kind of polish on her friendship and stuff, because hey, um, it's kind of a rehash, but not really. So, they talk to... Well, when she mentioned that, oh, she has a best friend, and said best friend is going to be herself. And that really put me off. Because she had such an amazing character development, but it all was none. And yeah, I'm going to go into it now. Um, if you have not watched this episode, pause here and go do so. Welcome back, and we join our girls in Sugar Cube Corner, creating friendship bracelets. And Fluttershy barge in, saying, Oh, girls, um, the results for the trail trotter thing is supposed to be today, but I haven't got any email. This is very troublesome and very concerning. Oh, God, I do hope that we get picked. Oh, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys. The rest of the girls are a bit worried at this scenario because they lied to her and now they have to come clean. Uh, Applejack, I think sorry, sorry, Twilight was the one that wanted to quote-unquote spill the beans and tell Fluttershy the whole truth. But Rarity stops them and tells her that, yo, Fluttershy, I got the email. The email, suppose, uh, the email said that we won and we're supposed to go to the place to meet with the dolphin person thingy. I totally forgot about that one, really. So, yay, um, let's go there, woohoo! And, yay, it's all amazing, and, um, let's build friendship bracelets to commemorate the event and whatnot. We can add this to the list of trail trotter thingy. And suddenly, Trixie's there! Ooh! Trixie just says, Hello, ladies. Uh, I heard that you're going to be making some magic. Nobody does magic better than me. Aha! And Pinkie Pie just says, Trixie, did you magic your way in? And Trixie just says, Nah, I've always been here for a while. Like, I've been here for five minutes while you guys were talking. And I got to pause here. <coughs> so, the build-up for this, I, I can understand because they are trying to find the end point to this quote unquote drama on episode 12. So basically, if you're running half and half, yeah, it's a pop, right? I, I don't mind it. But um, the idea for them just to create the friendship base was just for fun. And mm, I don't know, I mean, doing it as you go to corner, you know what? I'm just gonna. Super under the rug. So Trixie comes in saying that she's amazing and she's been there. There's some comedic there. I mean, it's funny when someone reveals that they have been there for the whole time. Ooh. And what else can I say? Um, Brother Shy coming in just saying that, oh, I wonder if we won, if we won, or not. 
and the girl should have told her here and there or should have just told her earlier but no the drama needs to go on because if there's no conflict there's won't there won't be any show uh, so yeah it's an okay intro uh, there's nothing wrong with it but anywho let's move on because um trixie says she wants to join in and create her own friendship bracelet for her best friend which is trixie and this drops the ball for me because in all honesty trixie has a best friend she has multiple best friends okay the bestest best friends is starlight but this this really destroys her characteristics or just her character development because she, nobody in in the show nobody really accepted her for who she is because Trixie is kind of boastful, uh, a snob, and so on. Yet Starlight gave her the chance, and with that, she improved herself and got and everybody got to know who Trixie really is. But over here in Pony Life, they took what growth she had and dump it, like dump it into the ocean and went back to square one because. I don't really mind them not putting Starlight in the episode. Like, they could just have made a picture. At least that way, we could still have the old Trixie, but a bit of growth from her. I mean, like, take two step forwards, one step back kind of deal. In, in Pony Life, I, I, don't really met, I don't really mind. This is just like taking two step forwards and three steps back and then forgetting... To turn the gear to drive and still parking, still in reverse and pressing the pedal. I mean, this is that. <sighs> but anywho, as the girls go on, we got a bit of a montage of Trixie trying to create the perfect friendship bracelet. And the way that she does it is very rude. She's just taking materials from other ponies that are doing their own thing and not really considering their feelings. And with that, uh, Trixie kind of messed up and all of the craft and arts and craft are scattered all over the place. The girls decide to teach Trixie about friendship. So it's going to be a friendship montage. And Fluttershy here says something funny in the terms of, oh, uh, we can... Uh, friendship is just like a butterfly where you keep in a jar forever. And this is where I go back from a few weeks ago saying that this Latishai is interesting and funny because they made her psychotic. Some people, according to what Silver mentioned, really enjoy the change in Latishai. But personally for me, I don't. It's like, and you're wondering, why Norman? Why don't you like the new Fluttershy? Because the new Fluttershy seems very entertaining and funny and more characteristic than her previous reiteration. And here's the reason why. Fluttershy is supposed to be one of those shy, meek characters that have low self-confidence, yet gain it as time goes on. And in, in, in the last season, season 9, She's more, uh, she's more firm in her decisions. She's uh, no pushover anymore, and she's just well-rounded. She has growth. That's the thing. And here, there's a difference between the old Fluttershy and new Fluttershy. That's granted, and she's not a pushover, but instead of making her a likable character kind-hearted and good-natured it just made her crazy entertaining yes but totally missed the point of the character but that's just besides the point and i'm going to carry on so we get a montage of the girls teaching trixie all about friendship and all about sharing and whatnot so uh first up we was pinkie pie and teaching her how to bake a cake and Trixie's trying to do it but Gummy's there foiling her plan because she wants so Gummy wants to eat some raw eggs and then Trixie fell because 
scuffle with Gummy. And then in the next montage, we see uh, Fluttershy and Applejack um, playing s- double dutch. Not really double dutch, but skip rope with Trixie. And Trixie says, I can do this by my own, and somehow got tied up. The next one is Rainbow Dash. Uh, it's kind of a race, and on a sleep slope where Rainbow Dash offers her hoof to help Trixie. Trixie says no, and Trixie slides down the slope. And then um, she learns her lesson, and we see her baking or making a cake, or this time kneading, and giving Gummy a raw egg. And then on the next one, um, Trixie takes the rope, but instead of playing it with herself, she's playing it with the rest of the group. Uh, well, actually, it's Applejack and Fluttershy. And she's using her magic to play with others. And with the race of Rainbow Dash, uh, when Rainbow Dash offers her hoof, Trixie accepts. And with this, uh, Trixie learns a bit of humility and uh, knows the importance of friendship. But Trixie being Trixie, she's cute in her ways, but at least now she's uh, at least now she knows a bit of friendship. So yay, that's really awesome. And with that, episode ends. <clears throat> so let's move on to the next one, Doll Finale. So the group head to sorry, no, I I I didn't read the did I? Yes, I think so. Yes, I, I read this now. So, the group head to the theme park where the dolphin is hanging out and where Fluttershy can meet her idol. So, the main five uh, look for the trailer and barge in and kind of meets up with the dolphin. A fantastic, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, fantastic. So, fantastic says, Oh, who are you people barging into my trailer? And the girls say, um, Mr. Fantastic, um, we're my, my, our friend Fluttershy, she's a huge fan of you, and uh, we, we kind of lied to her about the whole trail trotter thing because she really, really wants to meet you, but. The contest was for Phyllis, but she's kind of a grown adult. And Mr. Fantastic says, Oh, you, you guys are awesome friends for going through all of this trouble just to make your friend happy. And Mr. Fantastic says, Okay, cool. Um, Where is she? I, I, I don't mind. Like, bring her along. So they brought in Fluttershy. And Fluttershy is a gas because she's meeting her celebrity, her idol. Like, oh, wowie, wowie. And Fluttershy just says all of the amazing things. Like, I mean, she is a gas. Mr. Fantastic says, Oh, Fluttershy, um, you're awesome too. And I, I cannot tell a lie, but your, f- your psychotic friends here uh, lied to you about about the trail trotter thingy just so you can meet me and stuff. With that revelation, Fluttershy runs out of the trailer, uh, crying and feeling disappointed. The rest of the girl says, Mr. Finn, why, why did you do that? Why, why did you tell on us and stuff? And Mr. Fantastic says that throughout my years doing this, I've learned that telling the truth, no matter how painful it is, is the best policy. And I'm gonna pause here. That was supposed to be Applejack's line. Like, Applejack is the... Oh my goodness. Like, this is one of those scenarios where we've learned... Oh my goodness. Uh, It's... Okay. The thing is, the lesson can be learned multiple times from multiple personalities or characters, whatever it is. But the thing is, if you have one of the most honest-to-goodness characters, Applejack, not say anything because you don't want to hurt Applejack's feeling, it's... Oh my goodness. It's just like... 
saying that you remember Applejack? Her gimmick was being honest and whatnot. Honest to a fault, by the way. Like, you remember that? Dump that out. It doesn't matter anymore. And I find it very insulting and very uh, painful because uh, the whole thing about Applejack or her, her whole gimmick is just she's honest to a fault. She doesn't want to tell a lie no matter how big or small it is and whenever she does tell a lie something goes horribly wrong and there is an episode where she needs to learn to not tell a lie but hold the truth for a bit because some people can't take the truth, the whole truth, so you need to fluff it up. You need to tell them in a nicer way. So that's the whole, or that was one of the episodes here, or there, in uh, film. But this one in PL, it feels like they're just throwing it in our faces and not considering who is with them. Because if Applejack didn't say anything at all, and just went along with it, then yeah, I, I I can kind of agree that, yo, this Applejack is not the same Applejack as before, but early in the episode, she wanted to, but was, for, was told not to, just because they want to take care of her feelings, and she doubled down. And, ah, oh man, I, I think I'm just running around in circles, not making my point, because, ah, oh, my head hurts. But anywho, let's carry on. So we join up with Fluttershy contemplating her life and what her friends did. They lied to her. They how how could they? I mean, that's just not right. Like they shouldn't lie to me and stuff. But she comes to a revelation that her friends lied to her because they want they didn't want her feelings to get hurt hurt because she didn't qualify to be a trail trotter her, one of her biggest dreams so they contract they, they work together to um, make her believe that she's earning badges and whatnot and doing all the stuff that she did just to make her feel happy so even though the thing that they did was wrong but the thing was done for a good reason and she realized that it doesn't really matter why or how the most important part is that her friends care about her and they want her to and they want to take care of her feelings and by her just wallowing in sorrow by her lonesome She's missing out what her friends are doing, which is hanging out with Fantastic. So she realized this and heads back to the trailer to um, apologize to her friends for barging out and not letting them explain and whatnot. And also have a chance to hang out with Mr. Fantastic. So yay! That's awesome! We kind of got a nice ending. Yay! And then suddenly the trailer door opens, revealing Princess Celestia with the CMCs, and the CMCs claiming or saying that um, the winner of the Trail Trotters group is the CMCs. Yay! Now, for you girls, even though you didn't, uh, even though you had to lie, I'm going to make you the troop leader for the CMCs. Yay, and everybody has a good time, and episode ends. Oy, oy, oy. So, with that, what are my final thoughts then? I noticed that I'm very, very harsh on Pony Life. I feel like Pony Life is not for me. It feels like the show is aimed at a younger audience. 
granted the style is a dead giveaway but you you know what what do you put this sometimes when you watch a show you can tell if this show is for you or not and sometimes even if it's not for you the show is still entertaining it's in in its own way to make it entertaining Pony Life here feels like it's trying. It's trying to cater to the younger audience and it's trying to cater to the older audience. And sometimes it feels like it wants to impress the older fans by doing stuff that quote-unquote we like but somehow missing the ball at some points. And... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just jaded. Maybe I'm expecting too much out of this brand or series. <clears throat> but um, on my opinion on the show, I think I gave most of it. But still, okay. Trixie, Trixie is an interesting addition to the crew. Um, she's pretty on point, but it's a it's a bit sad where they have to pull her back to her G um, season 1 counterpart and accelerate her to uh, an older season just to make her not be a big jerk I mean she is boastful and whatnot, and she's not really a jerk but it feels like they just want a antagonist for the show for the lead to kind of, I won't say fix, but help. And that's what makes Trixie a bit, in my opinion, depressing. Because we know she she's better. But like you said, Lois mentioned, don't um, put your life with something new. So the characters are their own thing. And if you want to look at it that way, yeah, I guess... But it's so similar. And for Dolphinale, the episode itself is okay. It's not great. Uh, finally, we get to wrap up the whole, what you call this, Trail Trotter fiasco. And it's okay. The build up or the lead up to the end is just okay. There's not there's nothing. Oh, how how do I want to word this? It's just an okay episode with a okay payoff. We get to see Princess Celestia again, and that's cool, but. I don't know, guys. Like, I feel like they just inserted characters for character sake because we could have just have Shirley for this, and it has the same effect. And oh man, Shirley! Oh god, maybe next episode we'll get a new character. I feel like it. I feel like it. So overall, what do I think? It's okay. Episode 12 is just okay. And well, let's let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmgregimail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MDS show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And stay to radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on premiumlive.com. Links will be in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight. Jeffrey, Master Flag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. Um, I-, I hope you guys enjoy this solo rendition for the show and whatnot. 
do comment down below and tell me what you do, do you enjoy it or not like um, if you do tell me uh, why and how I can improve if not also do tell me why and uh, what's the reason because I, I would like to know I, I would like to know because I would like to improve because if this is something that you enjoy that's great if not then I, I won't do it again Anyway, I have been Mr. and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the NBS Show. See ya!